some background noise issues because there's a train parked on the tracks outside and it just has its engine going and then I have my fan on high because it is 109 outside and as I've said before I have no AC. So today we have a nice probably lengthy haul knowing me. I went shopping with Sarah number two which you guys saw in my last video and thank you guys so much for all the support with her and her channel. It has launched in case you guys wanted to check it out so I will have the link to it down below and hopefully she really sticks to it because she's awesome at makeup. So we went shopping today and well I got some things today and then otherwise it's just kind of a collective haul so that's probably what I'm gonna call it. We will start with what I got today. So Forever 21. Everything I bought today was black so man I'm so sweaty. I'm sorry if I get like super oily in this video. Oh and I just got my hair done so that's why it's a little bit darker than usual. So accessories why not? Why not? I got a nail polish because this one's really pretty and I've never tried Forever 21 nail polish and actually that's a lie totally have this is the color grape and it's really really pretty i think i'm gonna put my fake nails back on and put this color on them because it's like a dark pretty grapey color and i got a necklace because it was super simple and just really good for layering so it's a double uh strand necklace with two little thingamabobs that's what these are called and then as far as clothing we found some pretty cute stuff uh, I think Sarah ended up getting the same bra that I did, um, were bra twins. But it's this like strappy bra that I got um, because I love the like strappy effect in the front. And it's just like a super comfortable, chill uh, black bra, which I've been really liking bralettes lately instead of regular bras because like I've said, my boobs are pretty small so like they can fit into these things and don't go anywhere. But I actually got a shirt later that I'm going to show you guys that would look amazing with this from H&M, so stay tuned. And then I got this black basic shirt because I just, I love the cut of it and it's super super soft material, it's like flowy, but essentially it's a black tank top, let's be real. But it's actually a racer back in the front and the back. Racer back? Racer cut? It's a racer. <coughs> Still fighting the sickness, guys. And then I got this dress that Sarah picked out for me. It's actually a large, but I felt like it was really cute. And it's just like an all black, you know, dress. But it reminds me of something Unif would do because of the sides have this like peasanty type, you know, thing going on on the sides there. It is lined on the bottom, but not on the top, which is nice. Um, that it's lined on the bottom because it's not see through, but the top is kind of sheer. Um, but I like that it's going to fit like almost like a baby doll dress but it has like the ties I don't know I thought it was cute and pretty basic but with the sides it's more interesting and then this is from forever 21 but I didn't buy it um my boyfriend went to comic-con this week or yeah this past week and brought me back some souvenirs and he actually went to forever 21 and bought this dress for me which is super cute right and he picked it out himself and everything and I would totally wear this I told him to go with his gut and like with he thought I would look good in because he gave me two options, plaid or girly, and I said plaid initially, but he went with girly and I'm glad he did because this is amazing. It's basically like a skater dress in my favorite color to wear in the winter and fall and it has this uh, texture on it which is pretty nice. There's like dust on my screen up here, I'm sorry. So that's it from Forever 21 and then from H&M I'll show you the shirt that I got to really go with that bra because I thought it would look so cute it's this like just oversized swing type of tank top it came in burgundy like a forest green and the gray and i almost went with the burgundy but i felt like i would probably wear the gray more with the black i think it would just look really nice like with the bra showing up here and then we went to love culture which i never go in there anymore i used to shop in there all the time which was a long time ago but i found some cute things so i'm glad i went in there again all black the first thing are these shorts and you're probably thinking wow those are little these are very like lauren elizabeth shorts if you ever watch her videos because i feel like she wears these in her house all the time um because they are super comfortable and basically pajamas and i'll probably probably wear this with like an oversized tee so all you really see is the ruffle at the bottom and then they also had some jeans there these are basically exactly like my ASOS petite jeans. If you're looking for jeans that are like that, these are awesome. They're super high-waisted, like they cover your belly button, and they're really, really tight, and the inseam is a really good length for me because I'm 5'5", so the inseam is perfect, and they stretch, which is nice because if they didn't, 
would not go. I haven't told you the prices of anything, I'm sorry. These are $27.95, but these, when I cuff them with my Hell Razors, so I had to go with them even though I have jeans that are basically the same thing. Um, I like to have more than one pair of black skinny jeans that are super high-waisted because I wear them every day in the fall and I like to alternate, you know, with washing and things like that. Having one pair of jeans to wear all five days of the work, school week, whatever. And that's all from Love Culture. I'm gonna move on to some beauty products. So Sarah and I also, in a separate shopping trip, we shop a lot. In a separate shopping trip, we went to Ulta and I got this amazing thing. Oh my, I've wanted this for so long now and I finally splurged and got it. It's not even that expensive, but oh yeah. I'm not the owner of a Lorac Pro palette. I used it today on my eyes, but it's probably like all messed up because we've been out all day today um, shopping and eating and things like that, but it is so beautiful. I will be doing like get ready with me's and tutorials and things like that using it, but look at these colors, guys. Really, really excited about that. It's only 38 bucks, which is really good to get 16 eyeshadows. Way cheaper than the Naked palettes, and I like this way more than the Naked palettes. I'm going to say that because these eyeshadows are such good quality. I cannot even hype this up, up enough. And I got two NYX lip products. The first one is a Butter Gloss, which I've never tried before, and it's pretty, pretty nice. This is in the color Cherry Cheesecake, which is just basically a bright orange. And I'll put some on, because I don't have anything on today. Super lazy for you guys, I'm sorry. It's a really subtle color that doesn't really do much, but I feel like it's nice to wear. I'm not a lip gloss person, but these are pretty nice. Um, they're not very sticky, but they're very buttery, I guess you would say. They do have stickiness to them though, so that makes them, you know, long lasting or whatever, but I don't know, for the price, I think they're pretty good. Are they worth all the hype? Probably not. And then I also got a butter lipstick from NYX, and this is in the color Juju, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous, like, I don't even know, just like a very, like, warm orangey red slash pink. I don't know what it is. It's hard to explain, but it is gorgeous on, and it it's so nice. Like, the consistency of these butter lipsticks I'm jumping all over the place today, but I guess we'll move into the biggest purchase of the month, which I will do a separate video regarding because I'd rather do like a shoe unboxing. I'm like sweating so bad, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so disgusting today. I will be doing a proper shoe unboxing for them and like a little review about them because I've got some things to say about them. That's right. I got some Unipel razors, which are my dream, dream shoe. I'm not going to say anything. That's all you get. Wait for the video. I also got a new purse this month, which... Again, a dream purse, but a knockoff of a dream purse. Ever since Alex and Wayne came out with the Rocco bag, years and years and years ago, yes, that long, I have wanted the Rocco bag, but it's like 700 plus dollars. So Bag Inc. actually sent me this bag, and I saw that they had knockoffs of it, and it's real leather, so it's pretty good quality, just like the Alexander Wang one. Let me know if you want an update of what's in my bag because I got some mega shit in here. Um, but look at the bottom. It's like for real. This is like the best knockoff I've ever seen of the Rocco bag because look at, I mean, these are like high quality and it is real leather. And it's really nice. They do have a vegan version of this bag that's actually half the price. So if you want that, go for that if you're, you know, into not wearing leather. But it is a really, really nice bag. I'll have the link down below. I've been loving it. It is pretty heavy, um, but it is so worth it. It has a secret pocket right there, which is nice. Put your phone in or whatever. Um, I'll have the link to it below. I'll actually link the vegan version as well in case you're more into that instead of this. So I'll give you two options, but otherwise, really, really awesome quality, and I'm just blown away. I feel like this is an Alexander Wang. Like, that's the quality of this bag, and they have it in silver studs as well, in case you prefer that. I have some other clothes that are kind of random. I've actually had these two things for a very long time, um, but I was waiting to put them in a lookbook, but the lookbook was never really going to happen because the clothes, well, the dress would probably work. I got a leather jacket, a sweatshirt, and a dress from this person and from this website, which I'll link down below. It's the leather jacket I wore my seven questions tag. Um, I got that from this company as well and they sent me two other things that I'm in love with but I cannot wear this this thing um, yet until it's like September no not even October November it's this oversized uh, gray sweatshirt which you might think oh that's super basic but you can really wear these any way like for me rocking this with a leather jacket or a beanie with some Hellraisers and 
black skinny jeans spaced a minute that would be the outfit I would wear with this in the fall because it's just so comfy and like oversized and like it fits like your boyfriend's shirt or like a boyfriend's sweatshirt which I really really like I thought I would go ahead and include it in this uh, haul because um, I haven't talked about it yet and I've had it for way too long so I thought I should share it with you guys finally because it is like the best little black dress you've ever seen in your life if you're a Satan worshiper. But I was gonna keep it for a lookbook but I think I'll still put it in the lookbook but I'm gonna show it to you in this haul anyway just so I can show you all the pieces that I got from this company. Um, but this dress, okay, so it is just, you know, a dress, whatever, it has like, it's kind of strappy, yeah. And then it goes to like mid calf, I'd say. So it's kind of long and it kind of flares out as it goes down. Um, but then the back, can't see it now. Um, but when I show it in the clip, um, it is a pentagram on the back. Upside down pentagram to be exact. So like I said, if you worship Satan, it's perfect. Sorry if that offends you. Um, I take it very lightly just because I'm not religious. Um, but I know some people are, so I do apologize. But I really like the pentagram detail in the back. I think it adds like such a cool edgy factor to it, especially if you're wearing like girly things and you just got this pentagram chilling on your back. Unexpectedly today, I got a package from Glamour Kills, so I thought I'd throw it in this video. First thing is what I'm wearing, at least the shirt portion of it. It's like this cropped, um, somewhat cropped shirt. It's kind of like oversized, says so stay weird on a smiley face. You have eyes so you can see it. I really like it. Um, I was really surprised by this package, so thank you so much Glamour Kills. You're so kind to me. I'm obsessed with these pieces that they sent me. So the first thing that I saw was this beanie, which is like the stretchiest, most comfortable beanie I've ever owned. And it says, again, stay weird on it with a little pig flying because that's their logo. And this looks really amazing. I'm going to sacrifice heat stroke for you guys here and put a hat on. I think it looks so, so cute and like it fits perfectly like a dream beanie. And I just really, really like it so cute and then this next thing i was like that is so me oh my goodness it is a dress from glamour kills and the top part just kind of looks like this with their logo on it and then the bottom it's a skater skirt so it flares out but the like logos of it and the print is so cute like it's so tumblr hipster <laughs> But um, because that's the suns, it has the compass, quotes, the hands, a hand, dream on, yin yang. And they sent me a couple basic t-shirts. This one says forever young with some fireworks on it, just like playing gray, you could wear this like every day kind of thing. And then a baseball tee, which looks really nice. Again, their logo on the front, but then the back has this on it. It says dreamer with awesome like graphic on it which is super comfortable. Their baseball tees are so comfortable. So that's what I got from Glamour Kills. And then I have one last like big thing to show you. I, this is really random to show in a haul, um, but I felt like I should share the story with you. So I went to Verizon to figure out why my Wi-Fi wasn't working. And they basically said I can't, they can't do anything for me. So I have to wait until October to do an upgrade on my phone, which I'll probably get an iPhone 5 because right now I have an iPhone 4 and it's broken. So I definitely need a new phone. But because I can't do anything about it until October, they said, well, do you want a tablet? They're free. At first I thought they were shitting me and I was like, you know, no, I'm going to wait till Christmas. I'll ask for a tablet for Christmas for my dad or something. And they were like, all right, well, they're free. Like, I, you'd walk out with one today. Like, I don't know why. So I was like, okay, what's the catch? Like, what is it? Um, you do have to pay taxes on it and an activation fee on it. So those were the two catches. But the guy, the other guy was like, yeah, our boss called in today and said it's the last day of the month. Just get rid of them. Just do what you need to do. So I got a free tablet, essentially. I paid like 35 bucks for it. Technically like 65 with the activation fee. And then I got a hella nice case that was more money than the actual tablet. So I got the Verizon Ellipsis 7 tablet, which is probably like 250 by itself. <laughs> Dropping it. I don't know how I lived without a tablet this whole time. So this is just a black leather case, which is really, really nice. There's the tablet and there's the background, which is like smoke, which is awesome. It's been really, really nice. The reason why I got this is to use my room because my Wi-Fi doesn't connect in my room. So it's like using up all my data. So they said, well, just put this on your plan and it'll cost more a month, obviously, to have Wi-Fi on this and add it to my phone plan. But I've been using it for YouTube and Twitter and Instagram and Tumblr. It's so nice. and. Tiny Tower, gotten back into Tiny Tower.
playing it on a tablet is so much better than a phone. So that's the other like big thing I guess I got, which is pretty awesome. Um, never thought I'd really need a tablet, but now that I have it, it's like, how did I live without it? Like, YouTube videos are beautiful on this thing. That is my somewhat lengthy collective haul. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, Sarah said she was going to do a haul on her channel, so if you're interested in that, um, as soon as she posts it, I'll have it linked down below. She might actually post it before mine. So if that happens, I'll have the link to hers below if you want to see what she got uh, when we went shopping together. And just check out her channel anyway, because it's pretty awesome. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bad. It looks like it's just not in the last picture. So I'll post it on Twitter. You can go find it on Twitter. It's or I'll actually insert a picture. It's like it's my knee, but it looks like a nub nubbin thing.